Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. This guy talks about turning off Amazon Sidewalk. Now, Amazon Sidewalk, if it's enabled, and usually it's enabled as standard, you do have to opt out of it. This basically shares a small part of your internet connection with other Amazon devices in your local community. So, i.e. some of your neighbor's Amazon devices. Now, Amazon Assure Us, it is secure, and uh, I believe it probably is secure, but I know some people just don't like the idea of sharing any of their internet connection. Now, when I say it's secure, it basically means your neighbors can't hack in, they can't see what you're doing with your internet connection. It is just purely a small amount of bandwidth, 80 kbps, which is about a 40th of the bandwidth used to stream typical high definition videos. And it will only use 500 megabytes of your internet connection each month, which is equivalent to streaming about 10 minutes of high definition video. And its real benefit is if any of your Amazon Echo or Ring devices loses their Wi-Fi connection, Sidewalk can simplify reconnecting to your router. And also for selected Ring devices, you can continue to receive motion alerts from your Ring security cams, even if your Wi-Fi connection isn't working because it's piggybacking off of a neighbor's Wi-Fi connection. It can also help extend the range of your other Amazon devices or selected Amazon devices, I should say. It can also help find lost pets or valuables that have tile trackers. As again, it uses neighbors' Wi-Fi's to connect up the tile tracker to the internet and give their location. Now, if your Wi-Fi connection does get lost to your Echo device or your Ring doorbell, you won't be able to listen to music through it or stream the actual camera video from, uh, from it simply because it's using such a small amount of bandwidth. It's there just to sort of help get your Amazon device working again and just use low bandwidth features such as locating pets and valuables with tile trackers and just giving motion detection alerts. In the future, it could be used for other things related to Amazon devices. But if you're not convinced this is for you, then all you need to do to turn it off is if you've got an Amazon device, is go into your Alexa app, then go to settings, then tap account settings, then tap Amazon Sidewalk, and then turn off Amazon Sidewalk. If you have a Ring device, then open the Ring app, go to Control Center, then go to Amazon Sidewalk, and then turn off Amazon Sidewalk. This will completely disable the functionality of Amazon Sidewalk and return your device back to how it was prior to the launch of Sidewalk. So basically, the neighbors in your community will not be able to use your Amazon devices as a Sidewalk device to help them reconnect their devices, find their pets or valuables, or get motion sensors alerts from Ring. So there you go, I hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech that's at CW Tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.